So this is handling events. That's what uh, now we see in the code. So when we are doing any of the event at that time, if it is a function component, then we need to use arrow function. So that's what I'm mentioning here, passing arrow keywords to the event handlers. Event handlers is nothing but this is an event handler. So there is an event occurred, but once that particular event done are going to start at that time, we need to handle the event, whatever the data we are get back from the event, we need to uh, do something with the, with the data, right? So uh, that is uh, that is called event handlers. So if it is a function component, then you need to use arrow function. If it is a uh, class component, then you need to bind the particular function and you need to handle the particular event. Let me show how to use that. I just converting, I am going to create another component for synthetic, synthetic event class CS. So React create, React create class. So here we have a synthetic event class and we are extending the class component. So now the same thing we are going to use button and going to click to see console and you can see here the render function is there so basically it's a class component uh, so we are going to uh, we are going to click this button but we need to handle this event right so for that what, I'm, uh, what i told if it is a class component then we need to use function dot bind method but in general how to bind the particular function right so for that you need to use constructor and you can see the props you need to use uh, super props and here you need to to handle click is equal to this dot bind of handle click so by this way you need to do a normal class components so handle in generally what we need to do we need to do the bind class that's a, that's the actual procedure uh, to call the particular function 